Welcome to this series of videos covering the components of the early drum set. The cowbell comes to drummers from the world of farming, where clappers inside of cowbells strung around the necks of livestock would let the farmers know where their sheep and cows and goats were. And the cowbell isn't the only instrument that comes to us from a non-musical source. Other examples include bones and spoons, washboards, and what we now know as brushes. Our drumming peers from 100 years ago used cowbells on their drum sets when they were working in vaudeville theaters, in the silent film theaters, traveling shows, dance bands, and performing live music in roller skating rinks. Cowbells were often used along with woodblock, Chinese cymbal, and choke cymbal. There were two general styles of cowbell holders. Some cowbells were secured on a post, while others had a slot system that kept the cowbells in place. In addition to single cowbell mounting systems, there were double cowbell mounting systems, and those drummers would use two different pitches of cowbells, one high and one low. And if you were really fancy, you had four cowbells, tuned. Some drummers had four separate cowbells, and others had nested cowbells like the one you see here. And like the Chinese symbol, the cowbell was a part of the standard issue for an army drummer in the early 1900s. In our next segment, we'll talk about the other symbol on an early drum set, the choke symbol. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side. This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the East Central Regional Arts Council thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.